ADA's price is dumping after recently hitting $1.20. Am I worried? Well, is it fair to say we all hate pullbacks in any market that we're in, unless we're adding to our position in that specific asset? Now, the crypto market is down today, and so is the Cardano price. It's down like 25% from its recent highs at $1.20, and that is frustrating. So let's talk today about Cardano. Let me share with you some history on Cardano and share with you why I'm not worried. Welcome to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain. If you like money and crypto and you're looking for a real investor's take on the crypto market, join the Rainmaker family by liking this video, subscribing with the all notifications button enabled. Now, a lot of my audience, regular audience, understands the value in buying when it's low and not panic selling out. Also, we're going to bring on for today's show our producer, D Money. D Money, join us. Hey, what's up, Jay? How are you today? Good. I think Cardano was your first purchase, right? Yeah, it was. It was my very first purchase on Coinbase, and uh, yeah, it, it was crazy because it, like I think that I I think I bought it for like two fifty, and then then within like a couple of weeks, it was worth like four hundred dollars. I, I talked about that last week, and and how I was just like, oh man, this is gonna be easy. Like <laughs> investing in crypto is like, yeah, everybody should be doing this. Yeah, you bought two hundred and fifty dollars worth, and went to four hundred dollars like a week or two later. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was so. But I, it was right in August, so it was right right during a, a big pump it's exhilarating taking those rides up and it sucks rocks taking the ride down now today we're going to talk about cardano and the audience out there a lot of the audiences invest in cardano as well as a lot of people out there in the crypto market why they've taken a very different approach to solving some of the problems of blockchain and what i love about the team is it's one of the most transparent teams out there and Charles Hoskinson does AMAs all the time. So I feel like I have a good grasp for what's going on there. Now, the market's down. And what sucks is that often when this happens and we wish we could buy more, we have a lot of our capital already allocated into the market by the time prices drop really low. Now, this is a frustrating part of the crypto market. And truthfully, it won't go away. This is just part of being in the crypto market. In fact, in any market. ADA is not exempt from this, even though I do believe it is one of the top third generation blockchains ever created. So let me give the audience some context to what has happened in the past six months and how frustrating these price drops can be when we have already taken large positions in ADA, as well as what I think the future holds. Now, the top of ADA was about $3.40 and taking that ride down to where we're at now, really, really frustrating. But let me give you some context, because if we could rewind time, would you have bought ADA during the crypto winter? Now, for those that are newer, that's what we call the crypto bear market that went from 2018 to 2020. Now, at the early days of the crypto winter, ADA price was still about 40 cents. So imagine if you had bought it at 40 cents per ADA after it hit its peak of $1.40 and you thought, oh my gosh, 40 cents is so attractive, I'm going to buy some only to watch it drop to 20 cents and then 12 cents. That would have been frustrating, right? Now, if you couldn't see a bit further into the future, it would have been extremely frustrating, but then it would have dropped even more. It would have dropped to 8 cents and then to 5 cents and then even to 1.7 cents at the very bottom, which with perfect hindsight, we can now say, man, I wish I had bought it at 1.7 cents. But let's be 100% honest. If you were buying, you might have been tempted to panic sell out at that point. If you were feeling worried and tempted to panic out now, then for sure you would have been selling then, right? Isn't it fair to say that that would have been a terrible mistake? Now, what if you had taken the opposite approach? What if you had put more funds in, got creative, dug up the couch money, whatever, without borrowing, but you would have found more ways to maybe even cut your lunch expense or other things to put more in as the prices dropped and bought even more as the price got cheaper. Fair to say that you would look back now and you would be very glad you did. Now, that hindsight is perfect. So when you look at the reality of the past, it does help give you a glimpse of how it might work out in the coming few years. We're in a pullback right now. Now, am I worried? I'm not. Let me share with you something in the charts and show you that this correction is normal and where it might even go 
too, even though it might drop even more in the short term and still be within normal. So first, let's look at this is the crypto bear market. And as much as everyone's like, ah, I wish I had bought it during the crypto bear market. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, we don't have Cardano versus Tether pattern on Binance before this, but it was as high as $1.40 and it came down to this. It bumped up to about 40 cents here, which might have seemed like, oh, Cardano's going back up and a lot of people bought in. And then you see this nice rounded bottom here, but buying on the way down. And my first purchase was right about 12 cents. So I bought in, I think right about here in August of 2018. And then I continued dollar cost averaging down in. And unfortunately, I didn't get the very bottom here, but I did get some at three cents and I got some at four cents and five cents because buying the exact bottom is really difficult. And that's why I dollar cost average in when things pull back and Cardano pulled back huge. Now, a lot of people were panic selling out at this point and they just felt like it was going to continue going down to zero. And it didn't. Why? Because there are lots of reasons to be bullish about the long term of Cardano. Let me share with you where we are now. This is us now. Now, recently it hit, even though it doesn't reflect here, I remember seeing it for almost $3.40, even if it was just for an hour or two. Doesn't reflect it. But you see this nice trend downwards here. So you see we broke that trend and we broke it solidly. But it almost always happens when it breaks a trend like this, that it goes up and then it goes er, and it comes back down and it retouches this trend line before going up further and it often forms what i call a w pattern so if we take it from here here's the middle of the w this second leg doesn't go quite as far down and then it goes up to this point not out of it yet because then it will usually do this little thing here and then off to the races it goes now that might be exactly what the midterm holds short term looks like it's going to go down some more before it's ready to go up if it follows this chart pattern and it often does charts aren't an exact prediction of the future but they give you an idea of what is likely to happen or what is probable so i hope this puts you at some ease even if prices go down a little bit more that's not a bad thing it would be normal that it does now remember i'm not a financial advisor i do own or plan to own most of what i talk about on this channel because i don't talk about cryptos that i don't believe in now, if you haven't already, make it rain on that like button. I hope you're liking these shorter videos and we'll keep it short. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're ready to be a rainmaker and join what I call the Navy Seals of Crypto and level up your crypto game, do it. You can do it as simply as liking this video and subscribing with the all notifications bell. Why the Navy Seals? Well, because Navy Seals work extra hard to be above average and to be the best. In crypto, is it fair to say to be above the best? It does take some work. And it takes some paying attention and understanding the economics that drives these bigger patterns. And that's what we talk about on this channel. Thanks so much for joining us. We will see you all soon. Remember, no rain, no gain. Came into the space chasing all of the gains, chasing yeah. the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh... Shit, right before you could uh, Don't buy when it was pouring like a rain Make it should sure. Don't buy when it's down Don't chase the boats that I miss uh, Cause I always made the time in mind I stick the one out cause I'm patient